folks, this is Jeanette with the American Stroke Foundation. And today we're going to talk about P versus O, which is pessimist versus optimist. These have been some challenging times, and I just want to let you know I'm there with you and feeling those feelings too. During the challenges of the pandemic, there's often times that I have felt withdrawn, limited socialization, I felt depressed, and a lack of feeling in control. And at times, I'm just like, is Zoom all there is? And it's been hard to keep a positive attitude. However, I need to reflect. The pessimist in this picture sees lemons. The optimist sees lemonade. And we've all heard the expression before, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. But today was supposed to be a rah-rah day and that we were going to be getting ready for the stroke walk and roll tomorrow. But in our best interest in the safety and health, we needed to make the walk a virtual experience. But it's kind of like Lucy and Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown thinks he's going to be kicking that football. And Lucy pulled it out from underneath him again. Kind of like feeling what the pandemic has done to us. It's pulled the rug out from underneath us. So, let's think that pessimist and optimistic approach here. Stroke, walk, and roll is going virtual. The pessimist. It's not fair. I was so looking forward to seeing my friends, seeing other people there. But the optimist is going to say... Kathy and Jane on the planning committee worked really hard to try to make it an on-site event, even with social distancing, having it at different locations. But the spike of the coronavirus has made it not possible for us, us to do this. So I understand it was the right decision. I would hate for someone to get sick. I can still walk on my own. I can still walk with my team. We'll still be doing the event because it's going to a great cause. And I can't forget, I am getting a great shirt out of this. Other things to think of as a pessimist and an optimist. The Next Step program remains virtual. Pessimist is going to say, it's not fair. I want to get back to in person. And rightfully so. We all want that. But as the optimist, again, we're knowing it's the right decision in staying healthy. We're going to follow the CDC guidelines for reopening. And we can't let our guard down. Again, we would hate it if somebody were to get sick. But Optimus is going to say, too, I'm able to keep engaged with the daily activities. The staff and the students are providing a variety of excellent daily virtual programming. And through Zoom, I do get to see folks. Plus, there's a new Zoom group that's going to be starting for everybody next week with music therapy. But there's a lot of variety with the different Zoom and the daily programming. Ugh, you said the Zoom word. The pessimist. I hate it. Optimist. It's so good to see folks. Yeah, we're all in little squares on our computer screens. But I get to see you. I get to talk to you. Yeah, it was a challenge at first, but now I have it down, and it's great. I look forward to knowing when we're going to have our next Zoom group. And I love to smile and laugh with everyone. Zoom gives me that opportunity. Okay, what about this feeling of being so isolated? The pessimist. I hate being inside. I feel so alone. The optimist. Enjoy the sun and the cooler weather now. On the good days, go outside. Get some of that vitamin D from the sun. Walk and exercise in the cooler weather. If I'm stuck inside, I need to organize. My cabinets, they're looking pretty good. But you know what? I do a lot of my inside doing menu planning from what I see in my cabinets. My husband's very impressed how much money we've saved by not eating out. We're eating healthier and we're saving money. And don't forget, the Zoom calls and phone calls can be very helpful. 
So make sure to participate and do that. And lastly, don't forget to reach out to others. Your American's Direct Foundation program coordinators are here for you. We know these are difficult and challenging times. So make those calls to us, send emails, send a text. We're here. We know it's difficult, but don't feel isolated. You've got people here for you. Students. A pessimist might say, why do we still have students if we're not in person? The optimist, what a great opportunity for the students to learn telehealth. And I still get to be part of their learning experience as a survivor of a stroke. They're learning what we would do in person, but we're just doing it in different ways. And what about, I like it before, the pessimist, I want it to be like before. The optimist, it is what it is right now, but we will make it through this. And I'm learning to adapt. I'm wearing a mask. I'm making smart decisions about when I'm going out, where I'm going out, what I'm doing, who I'm with, how many I'm with, and I'm learning technology. Now that's my big one for me even personally. But I have to say, I do like the commute from my bedroom to my personal office at home. It isn't too bad of a commute. I'm being optimistic, but I'd rather see your faces in person. But until then, okay. And lastly, stroke. Pessimists would be saying, and rightfully so, my stroke is the worst thing that ever happened to me. To the optimist, you are a survivor. Don't let your stroke define you. You are strong and you have made it through your stroke. And without that, you would not have been a part of our family at the American Stroke Foundation. We are a family. We are here together. I'm a big fan of Maya Angelou. And here are some quotes from her. You may not control all the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. Another. You will find, rather, you will face many defeats in your life but never let yourself be defeated. Again, don't let your stroke define you. And this one, it's kind of about not having the stroke walk and roll, kind of about the pandemic. But as it says, life is a continual process of having the rug pulled out from under your feet. We will make it. So again, P versus the O, the pessimist versus the optimist. This is actually a glass that we have in our home. We can look at the glass as either being half full or half empty. The pessimist will look at it as being half empty. The optimist being half full. So here's to wanting you to always look at your glass as being half full. It's not empty. It's the same either way. You make the deciding factor. Will I look at it as an optimist or will I look at it as a pessimist? Look at life optimistically. So stay optimistic, stay strong, and stay healthy. It's all about our attitude. So here's me smiling at you. We may not see each other smile right now, but know that I'm thinking of you. Be optimistic.